Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Revive Me, and today I'm going to show you how to add custom backgrounds for your Dolphin emulator on Xbox. Alright, so for this, we're going to head over to the PC. Alright, now that we're at the PC, I will show you an example of a custom background here. For here, we're going to be using Neo 222's custom background. So for this, it has a preview of what it would be. And then it also has the file itself. If you are trying to look into making a custom background yourself, the dimensions would be right here, 3840 by 2160, and it has to be a JPEG file. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our USB. We're going to right click it and open it into a new window. Go into your Dolphin folder. See, for here, I already have my background. I'm just going to delete this to show you. So all you would have to do is take your background and drag it right into your Dolphin folder. Now what you want to do is make sure if you're using a different custom background, if you made one yourself, the file name has to say background. So keep that in mind. If it doesn't say background, it's not going to register on the app. All right, so for this, that's how you fully get it set up on USB. And now I will show you the FTP method. All right, bet. Now for the FTP method, if you're having trouble finding the correct Dolphin folder that you need, what you can do is go over to the correct Dolphin app you have, press the start button, head over to manage games and add-ons. All the way at the bottom left, go to File Info. This is the correct folder you would need to find with an FTP, so if you take a screenshot, it would be very easy to find this. Now I'm going to head over to my Durango FTP on my Xbox. Alright, now that we're at FTP, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click Start. The second to last row of numbers on addresses of this device would be the numbers that you need to remember on FileZilla. So just remember those, and I'm going to go on FileZilla. Now that I'm at FileZilla, the last row of numbers on the addresses of this device, for me, with these numbers here, for you, it will be different. And then make sure to put in the port. The username and the password does not matter. Click on Quick Connect. Just click OK. Now what we're going to do is click on Local Folder. Now when we see all these folders, so the screenshot that we took earlier of the folder that we need, make sure to look at that screenshot that we took. So for me, it was the 39539 Vappy Hub. So I'm going to look for that. I have two of them. And then after that, it was the SOW. So it would be this one right here. So then all you would have to do is go into the local state of your Dolphin folder. All right, and then once we get here, all we're going to have to do is go to our background, drag and drop it right into the local state of your Dolphin folder on FTP. And just like that, file is transferred. And that's about it. That's all you would have to do. If this helped, please hit that like and follow for more. If you're having any trouble with this, please let me know in the comments and we'll try to figure it out. And I hope you guys have a great day.